god. Literally everyone says that getting into medical school is like super super hard and if you're not an A plus student that you shouldn't even try because it's a waste of your time. Well, I tell you all of that is bullshit and I'm going to show you exactly how you can get into medical school by just preparing for it right. Hi everyone, my name is Eunice and I'm a junior doctor working in Christchurch Hospital in New Zealand. I've been hearing so much misconception about the idea that you have to be very very smart, IQ like 300, to be like a genius to be able to be a doctor. Um, honestly, look at me, that is not true. Everyone, I believe, everyone can get into medical school if they are just willing to put in the hard work. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, so how to prepare for medical school and how to get into a New Zealand medical school. So obviously I attended med school in New Zealand um, and that's through Otago University. So most of the experiences I'll be sharing, these are quite personal and they will be based on Otago University, but Auckland University will be very, very similar. So yes, there are two medical schools in New Zealand. One of them is Otago Medical School and then the other one is in Auckland called the Auckland Medical School. I've actually made a video recently about all about um, medical schools in New Zealand, the differences between the two schools, the pros and cons, um, so I'm not going to go into detail about that in this video. So if you want to check out that video, and the link description is below. So if you really want to get into medical school, realistically, you should be thinking about um, that in high school already. And there are four things that you should consider. The first one is the subjects to take. So I would recommend everyone to take three sciences and stats and then an English rich subject on top of that. Number two is your high school grades. That's pretty important because there actually is this point system that decides whether you can get into a pre-med course or not through university. I'll focus on the point system that is calculated through NCEA grades, which is like the standard New Zealand um, examination. If you're taking IB or Cambridge, feel free to check out the university website for more information. So this point system is actually called rank score. And based on NCEA, your grades, each grade is actually worth different point. So for example, excellence is like four points, merit is three, and achieve is two. And at the end of the year, they add up all your grades and calculate your rank score. So to get into University of Otago, um, it's 140. That's pretty much uni university entrance, doesn't matter if you do health sciences or something else. You just need to pass all your subjects, that really shouldn't be too hard. But in Auckland, you do need to do a bit better. You can enter a pre-med course um, through two ways, um, through health sciences and biomed science. The rank scores to get into these are a lot higher. So health science is 250 and biomed science is 280, which is like pretty much double Otago. So you can't just have all achieves to get into plan. You need to try, try a little bit harder. Look, I didn't study uber uber hard in high school. Honestly, I didn't even know what the point system was. I was just gunning for Otago since it was close to home. And I think if you want to get into Otago, um, you just need 140 and it's just passing every subject. And that shouldn't be very hard. Look, if you're already failing some subjects, I would rethink about whether or not medicine is for you. All right, so the third thing that you might think about is summer schools. So you can do these summer um, papers if you haven't done the subjects that you require to do um, before the pre-med course. And this is offered in Otago University and also in Auckland, where you spend only six weeks of your school holiday before uni starts to do these um, summer papers. Um, I personally haven't done them myself, but my friends have, and they say they're actually really, really good and prepare you quite well for 
health sciences. Number four is the last tip. You really need to sort out your study system while you're in high school. Look, you know, in year 13, it's the bum around year, right? You actually have the time, you know, the luxury of time to experiment with your study systems. And I think the takeaway message is that studying hard is really not the same as studying smart. I know, I know, like, you know, in high school, some people don't even, like, bother to write notes. And that's totally understandable because most of the time you don't actually need to write notes. But because you've got all that time, why don't you just think of it as a practice for university to do your notes to sort out your study systems? I know it sounds kind of lame, but... I promise you it'll be so worth it because I just see so many people struggle on week one of university, especially in health science, to juggle like all that content and they're there thinking, oh my gosh, what's the best note taking app? What's the best way to study, etc, etc. And then they just end up falling behind. So I would recommend this to everyone in high school. All right, so crunch time. Um, what to look out for in pre-med. So before I go into um, the tips and tricks, I'm going to recap a little bit about entrance requirements. In Otago University, the grades are worth 67% and UCAT is 33%. And then in Auckland, the grades are worth 60%, UCAT is 15% and then interview is 25%. So I'll cover more of, more of this already in the other video, so check out the link below. So obviously grades are super important. It's important to aim for an A or an A plus to be on the safer side or else you have to make sure that your other bits um, can compensate for your grade. A minus is sort of pushing it a little bit. Number two to worry about is UCAT. Oh my god, UCAT's like the biggest bitch. Like my biggest struggle was UCAT. I actually didn't even know it was a thing until I was in pre-med. So I'll let you know what it is. So it comes in three sections. The first section is a logical sort of um, reasoning, um, word-based questions. Number two is understanding people, using your EQ. And number three are just puzzles and um, using non-verbal reasoning. In Otago, part one and part two are weighted pretty heavily at 45% and then 15% in section three, whereas Auckland is just raw scores. And I believe that you can definitely become pretty good at it if you just consistently practice it. And I would even say that you can practice in year 13 and even sit, sit the exam if you're keen. And number three is interview. So this is applicable to Auckland only. So these are mini interview um, with stations and they sort of examine to see what sort of person you are when you solve problems. So these are not medical questions. And to even sit this um, interview, you need to be invited and your average score should be GPA of greater than six and four core papers greater than seven GPA. Now, with all that said, how is the best way to manage your time um, and schedule your pre-med life to get the best results that you possibly can to increase the chances of you getting into med school? Look, I think arguably this is the most important thing to get right in a pre-med course. So like having a schedule and a routine and following it is so important. Just because there's so much being thrown at you in one go. Like, you thought year 13 was hard and there was too much content? <laughs> yeah. Um, think again, because each semester there is four papers in pre-med and each paper has at least, like, four lectures per week. So that adds up to be about, like, 40 lectures each paper. And you're not even counting labs and tutorials. I've got eight golden tips on how I make sure I don't fall behind on this pre-med course. Number one is to pre-read your lecture slides. So prepare for the lectures so you know what on earth they're going to be talking about so you know you can focus better. Don't bother with the textbooks pre-reading. Number two, um, attend lectures as they're scheduled on your timetable. I wouldn't recommend streaming to be honest because go to stuff that's timetabled then chances are I'll be less likely to procrastinate because streaming can be such a slippery slope because you can think you always think that oh you can just do that later and later becomes never <laughs> number three 
um, make a set of your own notes and these notes should make sense to you not just a copy and paste from the lecture slides because that's not active learning so you want to try understand it and I find that using mind maps to connect ideas are a really good thing because I'm a visual learner and that helps me understand concepts. Number four, only use textbooks to aid your learning for areas that you don't understand. Um, don't use it as like a core um, learning tool. I would even just go to YouTube if I've got something that I don't understand. Way faster. And number five, um, set time to revise your notes from time to time in an active recalling way, not just highlighting and reading, highlighting and reading. So ways to do this are Anki flashcards, um, using a study group, or like just grab a friend to ask you questions, to test your understanding on a topic, using Q&A. You, you can assess your knowledge like that. I really didn't really go for a study group until towards close to exam times. Number six, important to know that exams are based on lecture content only. So make sure you understand the content well and don't just like go to the textbox to try to memorize everything. Um, and exam content can come from labs and tutorials as well. So because of that, do number seven, do attend labs, tutorials, and make sure you do your exit tests and GLNs because they do count towards your final grade as well. Last but not least, UCAT. Try do UCAT once a week at least. Um, just a few questions from the question bank. Just practice, practice and practice. All right, folks, now that you have listened to all my secrets of getting into medical school, it doesn't seem all that hard, eh? So honestly, don't let it overwhelm you. And I would just take it one step at a time. And remember, you are actually your own competition. You are competing to be the best version of yourself. And if you keep that mindset, honestly, you're going to go so far. And I would have no doubt of you getting into medical school like that. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would really, really appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe below if you've liked what you've seen. Thanks guys, see you later.